السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته great cool hope you are enjoying your week and in this video إن شاء الله we are going to talk about the the flowers the colorful beautiful flowers but before starting the session let's say دعاء اللهم لا سهلة إلا ما جعلته سهلة فأنت تجعل الصعب إذا شئت سهلة يا رب العالمين اللهم إني أسألك فهم النبيين وحفظ المرسلين وإلهام الملائكة المقربين اللهم إني أسألك قلبا خاشعا ولسانا باكرا شاكرا إنك على كل شيء قدير بسم الله We all know that the flower is responsible for reproduction in plants and as I told you before the production means increase in number or making more copies of itself but how the flower reproduce how the flower can form the small baby seed and when this seed is spread we can get more plants and the flower and the, and the plant reproduce haven't you ever noticed those structures or those parts inside the flower those yellow parts and these long parts and so on haven't you ever saw those inside the flower before let's know what exactly is that inside the flower there are many parts that are responsible for formation of seeds and fruit as well these green part we call it the sepal this green part that protect the flower is called the sepal and two this colorful part that attract attract and grab the insects to have the flower forming the seed we call it petal the colorful part that attract insects and these part this long part we call the stamen and what about these bulby part we call it pistil and in the stamen these rounded part we call it anther So in the flower we have the sepal, the, the green protective part, petal, the colorful part that attracts insects, stamen and pistils, the two parts that when they combine together or reach each other together, they form the seed exactly. And these circular parts in the stamen, all of these called the sta called stamen, but these parts called the anther. And these rounded part in the pistil, we call it ovary. Let's revise that together. In page 256, you can find the name of each part. All of these is called the stamen. Excellent. And this stamen, by the way, we call it the male part. the male part of the flower so in flowers we have male and female okay this part is that consists of the anther that have the anther we call it the stamen the male part and as i told you remember it by the word men men male the man part stamen this we call stamen and this in the middle we call it pistil the pistil For the pistil that had the ovary and the small ovules inside it. So we know that the mature flower or the, young, the, the adult flower that can form a seed must have the stamen, the male part with the anther, and the pistil with the ovary and ovules. The stamen has the answer, as you know. Inside the anther, we can find the pollen. The yellow pollen, the yellow powder, which we call it pollen. And inside the ovary of the female of the pistil, we can find the ovules. When these pollens inside the answer in the male parts reach the ovules, a seed form. And if we take a cross section in a flower, if we bring a flower and cut it in this way, we can find the ovules inside it. And the stamen, can you see the stamen? Those are the stamen and the pistil in the middle. And in the in the base of the pistil, we can find the ovary. Inside the ovary, there is the ovules. As you're seeing here, can you see how it's perfect? SubhanAllah. If you bring a flower and cut it in this way, we can find the pistil. This is the pistil in the middle with the ovules inside it, inside the ovary. And the stamens. The stamens and inside this yellow anther, we can find the pollen. 
when the pollen reach inside these and meet the ovule, reach the piston and meet the ovule, a seed forms. So we have male flower, the male flower with the stamen, the female flower with the piston and the ovary, and the male flower with the stamen and the, the anther where we can find the pollen. And those are the petals. Does all of the flower have the, those two parts inside them? No. Some flowers are males only, have the stamen only. Some flowers have the female parts only, the pistil only. And some flowers have both, like stamen and pistil. How can the flower form a seed then? We said when the pollen, which is inside the answer in the stamen, with the ovule, which is inside the pistil, they form the seed. But how? The pollen came out and fly to the pistol, then it go inside to reach the ovule and near it to form the seed. And then the ovary swallow, swallow, swallow to form the fruit, as you are seeing here. The flower eventually will turn to a fruit. The ovary will swallow, 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 and gets or gets bigger and bigger and bigger to form the fruit. This is how it happens. Sometimes insects help in it, and I will tell you the name of each process. Insects move the move the pollen from the stamen to the to the pistil, and the pollen go inside to reach the ovule to form a seed. The seed form. And then the ovary of the pistil will grow, 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 will become bigger to form the fruit. You can find the video here to understand the idea more and more. And in page 257, we can find the meaning of the word pollination and fertilization. When the pollen move from the anther to the pistil, from the anther or from the stamen to the pistil, we call this pollination. So pollination is the transfer of the pollen from one flower to another. Exactly from the anther or from the stamen to the pistil or from the anther to the pistil. Fine, the answer is a part of the stamen as you know. Okay, so the, when the pollen reach the pistil, what happened then? The pollen go inside to meet the ovule and we call this Fertilization. So fertilization is the process when the male and female reproductive parts join together. When the stamen and the pistil join together. When the pollen meet the ovule and join together, we, we call this fertilization. So when the pollen move from one flower to another, from the anther to the pistil, we call this pollination. And when the pollen meet the ovule inside the ovary in the pistil, we call this fertilization. Here we have a question summarize the process of flowering plants go through fertilization using the words pollination and fertilization. How plant reproduce, how the plant form the seed, at first the pollen move from the anther to the stigma of the pistil or to the pistil from the, the, the pollen move from the stamen to the pistil from the male to the female. This we call it pollination and when the pollen go inside and reach the ovule we call this fertilization and the seed will eventually form pollination happens when pollen is carried from one flower to another and for fertilization follow the pollination and it occurs when the pollen tube grow down to reach the ovule inside the ovary causing the seed to, firm, to form what's the production then reproduction is when a plant make a new plant when the seed already form and spread out to form a new plant and we call this reproduction. In this video, you can get the meaning of pollination and fertilization more and more. Let's answer this part. Choose the correct word. This question is in page 256. Question 2. Choose the correct word from the diagram, the diagram of the flower, then complete the sentence. The space cover and protect the flower bud. The space is where the pollen is produced. If pollen comes in contact with the, the seed produced. The sepal comes 
cover and protect the flower. The green sepal cover and protect the flower. The anther is where we find the pollen, where pollen is produced. If pollen come in contact with the ovule, which is inside the ovary in the pistil, a seed is formed. We know pollination is when pollen move from one flower to another. We call this process pollination. But how the pollen move? In your book, you can find more about that. How can a pollen move from one one flower to another? It can be through ant, through birds or insects. When the insects go close to the flower to eat its nectar, to suck the nectar from the flower. It attracted to its good smell to eat the nectar. Unintentionally, it gets some of the pollen and moves it to another flower while eating the nectar. Also flies. But think about it. When the fly attracted to the good smell, it's only attracted to the bad smell, the rotten food. Here we have a plant that called the skunk cabbage. This skunk cabbage gives a very, very bad smell. A smell of rotten meat, bad meat, smell of dead bodies. When the insect, when this fly smell this bad smell, it attracts to the skunk cabbage and to eat it. And it moved the pollen from one skunk cabbage to another skunk cabbage flower unintentionally. So here is a bad smell plant. Here is the bad smell flower, skunk cabbage flower, and the flies that pollinate it because of its bad smell. Some plants do not depend on plant, on animals or, or birds to spread their pollen. Some plants can spread their pollen by wind, by air, as it can release it in air, as you are seeing here. It can release its pollen in air, so the pollen can move from one, from one flower to another through air. Other flowers have the both, both the male and female parts have the stamen and the pistil, so it can pollinate itself. And we call it self pollinated flower. Some flowers can self pollinate as it has the male and female parts inside it. Here we have a question which choice are which choices are always pollen can move from one flower to another? Insects, birds, rain and wind. How can pollen move from the male to the female, from the stamen to the pistil, from the anther to reach the ovule of the pistil? Uh, insects, excellent. And birds and rain? No. And wind, super. Okay, move to insects, birds, and wind. Let's move that. Here in page 260, you have now learned the steps of pollination and fertilization. Describe what's happening in each image. Here in its image, in each image, what is happening. But before describing, let's number what is happening. Which which step is going to be number one? Excellent pollination. The insect came and pollinated the flower. Then after pollination. After the pollen move from the stamen, from the anther of the stamen to the to the to the pistil, what will happen? Which one is number two? Excellent. Two. When the pollen make a pollen tube to reach the ovule in the pistil, and we call this fertilization. When the pollen meet the ovule, we call this fertilization. After fertilization, I care what happens. Excellent. The seed forms. A seed forms a developing seed. Then the ovary will swell and grow and grow to form the fruit. Super. If we want to label these pictures, we will call this, what do we call this? Pollination. Pollen is moving from the male part to the female. And what do we call this? When the pollen meets the ovule, it's fertilization. Excellent. Fertilization is happening here. After fertilization, seed forms. A seed forms. And then here, the ovary grow and swell to form 
the fruit. The ovary grow and swell to form the fruit. Why, is it, why some flowers turn into fruit while others die? In, in page 255, you ask him, how did one flower turn into fruit? Why did some of the other flowers do not turn into fruit? No pollination and fertilization occur. If the flower do not, if the flower do not pollinate or or, the, or, or do not fertilize, how will it become a fruit? So, how did one flower turn in, into fruit? For a flower to turn into fruit, there must, must be pollination and fertilization occur. The flower will not turn into fruit if there is no pollination and no fertilization. If the plant doesn't form a flower, how will it form a seed or how will it produce? We can find that in page 261. Not all plants produce flower. The fern and the pine tree shows in the image or example of plants that do not give flower, that do not produce flower. They have different ways to reproduce. The fern has the spores, can you see those brown, those small brown spores are called the spores. While the cones, while the pine tree has cones. So how do you think plants are produced without flowers? By spores or cones. Let's see how the cones and how the spores reproduce, or how the plants in reproduction, or how the plant to increase its number or to make more copies of the plant. In page 262, we can find the pine tree. The pine tree has female cone and male cone. The male cone form the pollen. Those pollen move from the male cone, and the, ma the male cone looks like that. It's long and thin, while the female cone is rounded like this. The male cone is long while the female cone is circular like this. The male cone produces pollen and the pollen moves from the male to the female cone to form the seed. So eventually at the end the cone forms a seed. How? When the pollen move from the male cone to the female cone and we call this pollination and then it fertilizes the egg in the female cone to form a seed. The seed will eventually form and you can give new plants. So, which structure or part of a third tree or the tree that forms cones hold the pollen? Which part holds the pollen? Which part holds the pollen? The female or the male or the male and female? The male cone. Excellent. The male cone holds the pollen. And the pollen move from the male, the male cone to the female cone, and we call the movement of pollen from male to female pollination, and then it fertilizes the ovule in the female cone or the egg in the female cone to form a seed. What about the spore? Let's see the story of the spore and how this spore helps the plant to reproduce. Once upon a time, there was a spoor on the leaf. It was living like that with its family and sisters and brothers. Then the rain came and washed those spoor out of the leaf. Now, let's know the story of the spoor and how it helps the plant reproduction. Once upon a time, there was a spore on the leaf of the family in this point. But the rain came and washed those spores away of the leaf. So the spore finds itself alone. 
without any friends and family. Then it finds itself, by time it finds itself a little as very hungry and eat. So it converts itself or turns itself into a hard structure with small tiny roots to absorb water from the soil. And in this hard shaped structure, there's male and female parts. This hard structure. So the school changes itself to a hard shaped structure with small tiny uh, roots to absorb water. And in this hard shaped structure, the there is male and female parts. Then what happened? A water drop came and mixed the male, the sperm cells of the male and the egg cells of the male of the female together and it forms it, it be able now to form a plant. In your book in page 263, you can find the story here on the spores wash of the wash of the leaves by rain or something, and when it falls down, it starts to feel hungry and it needs food to eat it. So it forms small. It needs it, it convert itself or change itself to a hard shaped structure and gives small tiny roots to absorb water from the soil. Uh, in these hard shaped structures, there is a male and female. The male has sperm cells and the female has egg cells. The water came and mixed the sperm cell with the egg cell of the female to, form a, to, 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 to be fertilized. And after fertilization, the plant can give a new plant and the new plant can grow. These how the spores have the plant in the production. It will change itself into a heart shaped structure with the male and the female parts. The male part has sperm cells, the female part has egg cells. They mix together and fertilize to form a new plant. So, choose the correct answer. What is the function of the spore? Function means job. What is the job of the spore? The spore fertilizes egg, with, which, would, which then make a new fur, the name of the plant that forms spores. The sperm becomes structure and produces sperm cell and egg. The sperm cell is the, remember that the sperm cell is the male. The male cell, while the egg cell is the female. So, it, it, it sperm become a structure that produces sperm and egg, sperm and egg, or male and female parts. Spore fertilize the sperm cell and then make a new fern. Which one is the correct answer? It's B. Spore become a structure and the structure this is the heart shape. The heart shape. Spore become a structure which is the heart shape that produce the male and female or sperm cell and egg cell. Excellent. In page 264, we can find these tables. Which of those, this is the fern plant that forms spore, and this is a flower, and this is the cone, the pine tree that forms cone. Which one of those two insects to pollinate? Flower and the cones, because they both produce seeds, and they both produce pollen. Which produce seeds? Excellent. The flower and the cone because a spore is not a seed. Which one produces spore? Fern, flower, or pine tree? It's the fern produces spores. Which gives cones? It's already done. The pine tree. Which of those has male and female structure? All of them. How seed disperse? In page 266, you can find a how seeds disperse and disperse means spread. How does it spread from one place to another so the plant can spread and grow everywhere? Some plants like the sycamore, the sycamore, 
seeds that have wings. Helicopter, they call it helicopter seeds and it has wing-like structure. Those seeds can fly and spin in the air and move from one place to another. Some animals eat berries and tree, from trees. And when they eat this fruit, they spread the seed with them in their dropping. They drop the, the, the leaves, the animal dropping elsewhere. They eat it and then they want to go to the toilet. They want to <laughs> excrete or, or uh, get out the waste. So they release seeds in their toilet or in their bee, in their pee or in their dropping. Some seeds are have tiny hair or crystals like this. They stick to our clothes. Haven't you ever entered to the garden and came out with so many seeds stick stick to your clothes? So many seeds with a crystal or hair that stick to your clothes. So it can stick to the animal fur as well. So when they stick to the animal or to the human and the human or the animal go where else, it helps in seed dispersal or seed spreading. Some seeds like the coconut seed is hollow from inside, empty from inside. So it can float in water and move back through it. Other seeds have a unique way of dispersing, of, or of spreading. The seed explodes out of the seed ball. Just the seed pot, it explodes and the seeds fly to travel from one place to another. Which method can carry the seeds far from the parent plant than animals, water, or wind? Or what's the way? Animals, excellent. And water, excellent. And wind. All of those are ways of spreading seeds. See this person or see the spreading. These dandelion flower, these dandelion flowers that have a parachute like seeds. And these coconuts has egg space inside it. And these uh, sycamore seeds come from the sycamore tree, which have wing like structure or parachute like structure. the parachute seeds, as I told you. The fluffy by air that Airspace like the coconut will disperse or spread by water, the wing like structure of the sycamore seed by air. What about the seeds that are sticky or have crystals? And the seed that explode out of the pot of the pot like the like the bees. The sticky will stuck to people clothes for animal fur. And these will explode by the air and move from one place to another. In page 265, you have different way of seed dispersal or seed spreading, spreading and different seeds, and we have to match those fruits, the seeds inside it, how well it dispersed or spread. And these and the line and these seed with crystals. That's right, by air, by animals, when they eat it and drop the seeds and those with crystals through animal fur. Why is it important for seed to, sp to spread out or to disperse? Why do you think? For reproduction and forming a new plant and spreading of the plants everywhere. So now you understand the different parts of the flower, how the flower forms a fruit. If there is no flower, how the plant will reproduce, how the seed is spread, how the pollen is spread. I hope you understand the lesson quite well. Go to answer the lesson check. If you find any difficulty or anything that you do not understand, don't hesitate to ask us. Thank you so much again for uh, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.